and and now I'm going to talk about television. And television is the one place that I do think um, had had a very large impact on on so society. But I even think even then it was more after uh, that time, after the 70s, than it was between you know World War II and the 70s. Now here's what happened. So the you're going to watch a film about the invention of the television. There's a debate about who really invented the television. There was different types of television, so it depends what you mean by television. Um, but in the in the uh, they were dreaming these things up bef even before the end of uh, the 1800s. But the the pioneers really the the, the early stage of the, the 1900s, and really it was before World War II that the television was invented. But it really didn't have any kind of commercial. Um, appeal till after World War Two because uh, during World War Two it could have it could have been at the beginning of World War Two if World War Two hadn't have happened but because of that time the war, the war happened lots of things got put on hold um, so um, you know immediately following World War Two when the television had existed um, you know for maybe 15 20 years uh, it was after World War Two when it became a mass produced product and and then um, um, and then had a bigger impact on society. When, when more and more families and individuals could actually have televisions in their homes, whereas previous to World War II, very rare. Like I said, during World War II, they used um, like cinema technology to, to bring news to people. They would show it in town halls and, and, and village halls and other places where they could. And, um, um, and of course, we're kind of forgetting radio. I'm not going to talk much about radio. Again, I don't think radio is a ginormous impact on society. Um, as much as television is. Again, radio um, it was most... I, I think without the visual, I don't think you can have such as large an impact. Now, certainly radio allowed communication to be broadcast um, to, uh, to a wider audience and was a fairly cheap technology to own. And so the ability to have music in your home and to have little plays on the radio and to hear, hear news, yeah, that, that, I think that was definitely important. But as far as changing society, I think that had, that had an impact on society because it had, you know, news was able to be spread. But people had newspapers, you know, it wasn't that they didn't have, have news. I think, that the, and, and you could play music using records, and uh, you probably don't even remember those, but, uh, you know, the, the, the big discs they used to play, um, those, you know, they had music, they had entertainment, they had news already. So the, having the radio, did that really impact society? A good question for you. Again, I'm suggesting, you know, I've, I'm not sure that it had a big changing effect on society, um, but uh, but I'm not sure. That's that's again really not my my area of expertise. So let's talk about the television. So the television became a mass-produced pro um, product after the war, and and uh, became became um, purchased in very large numbers. A lot, lot of families were able to have the television in their home. Of course, it was black and white. But then what did you have on the television? You had again you had news. Um, you had uh, entertainment, and uh, but then you also started having have kind of like documentaries as well, and you and you, you uh, entertainment in, in included things like game shows as well as the entertainment in forms of sitcoms and, and other um, normal kind of t TV shows that we that we're used to today. So I think this was this was fairly new. There's a new style of entertainment that they probably. Hadn't really been existed in, in the kind of the old type of theatres like game shows. Where did game shows exist? I don't know. Maybe um, maybe there was some kind of local thing that would like it. But I think you know, game shows, uh, were, which were a big hit in in the in the fifties and the sixties, um, I think that that was fairly new. Um, now whether that had a, a large social impact, I'm not sure. Um, but I want. But I think that the where the TV had the power to have a social impact. What I'm going to suggest is two things. One, it's a great machine for propaganda, because um, it, it all depends on who, who controls the news. So the big media companies, they're the ones who get to kind of decide what you see in the media. And with images, I think images make and sound make just such a big difference, which is why I'm in favor of, um, in online education, having students do videos as part of their, uh, um, their assignments, because I think it makes a difference. When you see and hear a person speaking or an event, and I just think it makes it real and, and different uh, as to when it's in, in written format. So you know, the television, you had news, but you had it in um, very graphic images. So, uh, for example, so during the, the Vietnam War, uh, when you had television broadcasting these moving pictures of, um, 
and the, and the Korean, the Korean War as well, these very horrific images um, of the warfare going on and, and American soldiers being killed, um, I think that had a very large impact on society who, um, who can now see for themselves and see and hear that the reality of, of war. And, it, and, and then it can be used for propaganda to, to, you know, to kind of show how well you're doing your side, that kind of thing. And, but, but I think also it's the graphic reality of things that makes a difference. I, there was a big movement in, in the United States to, um, to stop these wars, and especially the Vietnam War. Now, how much of that had to do with the fact they could see for themselves what was happening on, on the news? Very graphic Im images of, of warfare. And um, I personally think that makes a big, big difference. Um, because as really true information gets out to, to the masses, I think that affects the masses, and, uh, and the masses, you know, can, you know, they can be affected by it, rise up because of it, and, and, and determine their op opinions because of it. Now, in newspapers, I think you can talk about what's in the newspaper, but I don't think it hits home until you see something. And with television, you see and you hear, and I think you feel more like that. Uh, just, just recently, you know, if, if, if you see a uh, um, a commercial uh, or, or a film showing um, people, you know, children dying or starving in Africa or something like that. And that, I mean, I don't know about you, but that I, I, it chokes me up. I really, I wish I could solve the world's problems right there and then because I just, I, it's hard for me to bear seeing the reality of that. Um, now, of course, the other, the problem with that is, is that you can bring in kind of effects and music. And kind of only show the kind of the, the, the perspective that you want to show. So that's why I'm saying it's a great propaganda machine. Now I think that pretty much everything we ever see in the news, um, to some degree, is a form of propaganda. And you can debate me on this because you never fully see the the, the full reality of anything. You only get pieces of it. So you get the pieces that the, that the media want to show you. And and why? Because those are the things that they 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 think you want to see. Because that generates viewing, um, you know, viewing figures, which which generates revenue, you know, uh, advertising income, and all the other things that go along with television and, and, and news and, and media. So, so the, so the television, in terms of media, I think had a big impact on society because of the graphic and the, the audio visual experience of it, um, and the the impact that has on people when they see things in their reality. Um, to what degree? Hard to, it's hard to tell exactly because um, it, it's hard to e extract the TV out of the, situ the situation and, and play that history and see what would happen if you didn't have the television. But I think that the, the fact that so many people now could see and hear what's going on in events around the, around the world um, makes a difference. It makes a difference that um, um, I, don't know, I don't even know what exact difference it makes. I'm saying it makes a difference. Um, I'm going to leave you to kind of really thrash out. Um, you know what difference you, you think it actually made on the ground, but I think I think that it does make a difference to us to um, to see and hear uh, real things. So that's the, the kind of the news and the media side.